In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly trigger the IV3 using the add-on instructions. As you can see, I have a new project and my IV3 is already added using the EDS file. If I go to my main routine up here, you can see currently this is empty and the parameters and local tags is also empty. So the first thing we're going to do is import the add-on instructions. Simply right click and say import add-on. Navigate to where you have the AOI saved on your PC, select the trigger and hit open. Hit okay. And as you can see, my IV trigger is now added over here. On my main routine, we're going to take the IV trigger add-on instructions and add it to my rung zero. And then we're going to go to the parameters and local tags for my main program and click edit tags. Here we are going to create a IV trigger function from the data type you're going to set it as IV trigger and hit OK. And the description is AOI for Keyence IV3 trigger. So now going back to the main routine in this first dropdown. We're going to set this to the IV trigger function for the in module data. We are going to expand the IV3 input assembly and select the IV3 input data integer 197. For the output module data, we will expand IV3 output and select output data integer six. So now we'll go back to the parameters and local tags, and we need to add a trigger request. This is going to be a Boolean. We are going to add a one shot. Like so. So now let's hop into the main routine. And so now I'm going to add a rung and add, this will be my trigger request. Then I'm going to add My third element will be IV trigger function. And this will be is trigger ready. At the end of this rung, this last element will be IV trigger function trigger request. So this trigger request. Now my ladder program is complete. I will go ahead and set the path. And download. And now I will put this into run. Here I have a side-by-side -side of the PLC with the IV3 software. And as you can see, it is waiting for a trigger. So I'm going to right click and toggle this bit. And you can see it take a picture there. I'll turn it off and put in a bad part. So now I have a bad part in there. I will toggle this back on. And as you can see, it updated.
I hope this video helped explain how to properly trigger the IV3 and explain the add-on instructions for the trigger function. But if you have additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Kiens, option 24 tech support. Thanks and have a great day.